Yes, $4 million. Would you agree that the money Amber was making on Aquaman 2 or 3 would be her market rate for future studio movies? I would think it would be her rate for su uh, future studio superhero movies, uh, but not necessarily studio movies that aren't superheroes. That could be standalone. That could be other type of studio movies. But for super, but for studio superhero movies, it would be four million dollars, correct? If I was uh, uh, Miss Hurd's agent, that's where I would start, okay. assuming everything was equal the budget of the superhero movie, that she was uh, in the ensemble. There's a lot of uh, ifs to look at, but all things being you, equal. You agree that Aquaman was a breakthrough role for Miss Hurd, wasn't it? Uh, it's, it's the first movie of that ilk that she makes, but she is not Aquaman, she is Mira. But it was a breakthrough movie for Miss her, correct. For, for her, it's a breakthrough movie to be in that film and in the ensemble, absolutely. And she was the female star of that, of that movie, correct? I believe so. You would agree that for all of the actors Miss Arnold listed as comparables, their career trajectory went up after their breakthrough, correct? She didn't give us the raw materials to look at, but I'll take your word that all those unrelated actors in unrelated films, except for Jason Momoa, they went up. In your As did Miss Arnold in, in, when in, she went from one to two. In your experience, can you identify an actor or an actress who's not been able to get a new studio movie after a breakthrough performance in a superhero movie? Uh, as I sit here now, I haven't been asked to, to opine on that, but there are lots of supporting characters in movies that don't appear in the next movie. But, the, but a female star in a breakthrough movie and a superhero movie, can you identify any actress who's not gotten another studio movie after that? Uh, well, after Miss uh, Hurd's breakthrough in 2018, she did get Aquaman 2. Aquaman and, and 2 was already, she okay. already had the option for Aquaman 2. All right, correct. so she did, uh, Miss Hurd did not get any movies after uh, 2018, long before the Adam Waldman statements. Other than Miss Heard, can you identify any actor or actress who's not gotten another studio movie after their breakthrough in a superhero movie? As I sit here now, I haven't been asked to research that, and I, and I can't. That okay. would be a normal uh, a thing. And you're, you're not providing an alternative number for Miss Heard's damages, correct, for the jury? Correct. I'm not uh, providing an alternative number. I think, uh, you know, she's been more than uh, adequately paid. I, I'd move to strike after no, I've not been provided another number. That's all. I mean, my question was you're not providing another number. I think it's in fairness and the full answer of the question, Your Honor. It was a, it was a yes or no question. He said his answer was no. I'm not going to strike it. Okay. All right. No further questions. All right. Redirect. My guy literally just made common sense comment. Like, why, like I said in our previous video, why are we comparing Amber Heard to Zendaya? Why are we comparing her to really, really successful actors? Like, guys, I did not even hear of Amber Heard before, to be honest. Truth be told, I did not know who Amber Heard was until she was related to Johnny Depp and I think a lot of people would agree with this but this expert witness like I said he's been my favorite so far today I'm still editing videos so you guys look out for those in the next couple of hours or minutes and yeah I'll see you then